Welcome back. It's uh, still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and we're set for our first major conversation. Uh, you can see the broad smile on my face. Uh, when you see the wide uh, shot, you understand why I'm smiling <laughs> this way. Don't worry, we're coming to that. Um, but anyway, um, of course, women in management, business, and the public um, service have been uh, an organization for the past uh, decades, over two decades, doing great work as far as um, you know, catering to women in the aforementioned sectors of management, of business, and the public service is concerned. And uh, we'll get to know more, more about this organization, also known as WIMBIS. Um, for some of you out there, you've been hear hearing about WIMBIS for many years now, like I have. They have their 21st annual conference coming up. This is the 21st edition of their annual conference. And we have uh, joining us this morning to tell us more about WIMBIS and to tell us more about this particular event, um, the... Chair, Conference Planning Group, uh, Delegate Engagement Subcommittee of WIMBIS. Uh, she is Hanatu Adegboyega. And, of course, uh, Vice Chair, Conference Planning Group, uh, Committee of WIMBIS for Lucia Badamusi. Ladies, it's a privilege to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. Right. Now, now you all can see why I was smiling. <laughs> Sandwich in between. All right. Um, WIMBIS, we've been hearing about WIMBIS for a while, mm -hmm. you know, and you've been doing some amazing work from what we see. You know, I first used to see Wimbis in the papers, mm. you know, before the internet became a thing. Tell us about the organization. Okay, so Wimbis, like you said, is Women in Management, Business and Public Service. And it was founded by 13 people, actually one man, so 12 <laughs> women and one man. And the whole purpose of this organization is to catalyze women, right? So women in all those different sectors, women in management, women in business, and women in public service to inspire, empower, and advocate women so that we can really contribute our quota towards nation building. And that's what it's all about. Fantastic. So quickly, I'd like to ask, Kevin, it doesn't like a follow-up question immediately, but were you also part of the 13? No. <laughs> no, 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 not quite. Ago, many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Can't you see how young I am? Quite, quite young, quite young. Quite young. Quite young. Quite young. <laughs> okay, but um, you know, let's come to you now. Uh, let's talk about uh, what you have been up to mm -hmm. in all of this years. I mean, this twenty-first uh, annual conference that mm -hmm. you're going to have. What have you been really up to uh, in terms of business, women in business, public service? And one of the testimonies, if there's any, you know, have you okay. gotten no any okay. results? So first of all, let me mention the fact that Wimbiz is one of the, it's, it's actually the only Nigerian NGO to be rated on the um, NGO scale worldwide, and that's impressive. We have, um, we've impacted over 250,000 women. Yeah. So that's something we we're very proud of. 250,000 women. One thing that has been personal to me, I would say, is the Wimbiz mentoring program. Um, I'm personally, I have a fantastic mentor, and I've seen how it's helped me in my career. I've seen what it's done for my career, and it's something I strongly advocate, advocate for women to have, find a mentor, and we have an awesome program. We also have the Women Board Mentee, yes. which Felicia is part of. So we, so we also have the Women on Boards program, which prepares women for boardroom positions, because as you know, I mean, up until recently, women on boards was like, yeah, mm -hmm. women on boards, mm -hmm. you know. So the we, proverbial glass ceiling. That is exactly. it, exactly. So we worked very hard, and we're still working very hard to continue to smash that glass ceiling. And so that's one of our major programs as well. And it's a program that continues to empower. So there are courses that teach women, you know, how to be effective on boards. And we also have a Wim Board Mentorship Program, which pairs women like myself, Hannah, that are on boards with other people who are very, very experienced and teaches us how to do that. We also have the roundtable sessions, yes. which happen monthly. Those are really awesome for networking. We have Wim Cap, which is for women that own their businesses. SME businesses, exactly. so that's, SME. that's very helpful with regards to structure, financial planning, just basically how to run your business and just giving you steps and tips on how to make your business successful. Well, so so uh, uh, how, what has Wim been in the past, um, you know, over two decades of existence in, in Nigeria, um, been able to achieve? Ah, wow. all the things we have been saying <laughs> since. <laughs> so, so, okay, that's actually a great question mm -hmm. because maybe it wasn't quite concise, mm -hmm. right? We have been able to advocate for many amazing things, right? Yes. So beyond just the impact on over 200,000 women, of which 12 of us are obviously beneficiaries, even just advocacy, right? Being able to get women into bigger, higher positions, whether it's in politics, whether it's in the boardroom, whether it's even setting up their own businesses. We have so many testimonials and so many amazing stories of women. And if you check out our website, wimbiz.org, you'll see many of them who their lives have really been transformed yes. by being a part of the organization, by attending the programs, by being mentored, you know, by just being guided and really catalyzed, which is what the 
organization is all about. You know, it's a catalyst organization. It makes people like myself, Hannah too, and whoever else is a part of it go out there and spread even more and even more exactly. and even more. So yeah. Are there, are, are there notable names? I mean, over the years that have passed through this. Wow. Yes, you want us to name drop? Yeah, just give me a few. Maybe <laughs> there I mean, are so many. There are okay. so many. Okay. Um, Should we start with the founders? Yes, please. Maybe Over we to start. You. So, Ibuka Oshika, Yohandi Zakias. Um, Mubola Johnson. Mubola Johnson. I mean, there are so many. So, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, yeah. 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 so, you know, you yeah. know. Yeah. So, well, well mm -hmm. the, the list is, is endless, right? It's endless. <laughs> so, so, that's when you hear our names. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you're, you're, you're already here. here. You're already here. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but let's talk about, you know, who, who can participate. Is, is it limited to a certain kind of, uh, you know, no. are we talking about now strata, group of persons? Is it limited or is it... So the, conference, so the WIMBY's annual conference, which, you know, is our main, main assignment here this morning, is next week, Thursday and Friday. It's the 3rd and the 4th, and it's holding in Lagos and also virtually. Yes. So really, it's holding all over the world because yes, you can okay. join online. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be physical at Eco Hotel, and it's open to everyone, men, women. It's open to any woman that wants more, any exactly. woman that wants to network, any woman that wants to be catalyzed to get to her next level. Exactly. Which, is, for me, is most women, right? is welcome at the conference. Um, registration is still on. It closes tomorrow, though, because we've been on it for a while now. Wow. So you have free wow. to go to wimbizannualconference.com. You can get all of the details there. We have amazing panels that are properly curated to transform the lives of the women that attend. I am so excited. Uh, this is like my eighth or so conference, and every year is more exciting than the other. You know, you are always learning something. You know, it's such a life-changing conference, so it's open to everybody. And let me, let me just add, we are on the planning committee, and when I saw the list, the final list of the speakers, I was blown away. I was like, oh, wow. Amazing. So trust me, I'm impressed. You will be impressed. <laughs> so, oh, so, so, but, but just a quick one to that. Now, if, uh, you know, registration is ending tomorrow, is there a fee, you know, is there a requirement, you know, to be part of it? So there's no requirements, like except Felicia said, fee. except for the fee. You go online. <laughs> so there's different fees. So there's fee for virtual. So there are different fees. So we won't talk about the fees online, on, on, on live right now. However, the requirement is just one more. That's it. If you want more, just... Yes. Right. Longer. Yes. And you want to meet more people and you just want to broaden. Your network is your net worth. We say it all the time, but this is a literal and practical way you can expand your network. Okay. Uh, uh, it, it's so, so uh, a relief to hear men can also attend. Yes, it takes a strong man. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully yes. we're expecting to see you there. We're expecting to see you there. I'm already <laughs> feeling it for me. Yes, 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 yes indeed. Um, uh, uh, so so the, the theme for, for this year's annual conference, uh, we can see, is um, firing forward. Yes. The, the future, future in, in focus. focus. Um, why, why do I think, what does it mean? I mean, I think that the theme just encapsulates everything that this year and the past few years mm -hmm. have held, mm -hmm. not just for women, but even just for the world, you know. We are, we are finally come out, well, we're still in a pandemic, but, you know, we are now getting used to it and it's part of our lives. And we are in a place where people really need to be ignited because it's been a weird kind of like three years. So the whole point of firing forward, the future in focus is, listen, guys, it has been an interesting past three years. It's time for us to move on exactly. with the future in focus because one huge thing that you know, COVID taught us was that we have to be very, very conscious about the future. We have to be conscious about it in so many different ways, from work to education to how we live our lives and all of that. So exactly. the whole point of that is really just to ignite us, even with the topic of the conference. You know, one other thing that <clears> is, is in the future, um, uh, I don't know if you guys have covered me dragging you there, it's the 2023... Um, <coughs> Elections. Oh, yeah. so you took that from me. <laughs> I'm actually having a panel. We have a panel on that. We have yes. a panel on on, on, politics. The, on politics. We have a panel on okay. women in leadership and just things that have changed. No, no. But basically, I yeah. would like to share your thoughts on what the position of you know Wimbers is on you know the elections ahead of the elections and mm. everything that's going on oh, okay. 2023. So what, what really is the position of Wimbers? Wimbers is not a partisan organization. Exactly. We understand. Yeah. <laughs> what we do is that we catalyze women. So we have a lot of women in Wimbers who are actually in politics yeah. who are running for positions in different states and all of that. Our, our position is that women should go out and vote and that we should also um, influence those around us. You know, women are actually extremely powerful. Yes. A woman has, you know, one woman can probably influence 10, 20 people because of yeah, everything absolutely. from those around her. Mm -hmm. If she's a mother, her children, if you have nannies, co there are so many people that we can influence. So what we really push for is please let's all be responsible, let's all register to vote, and let's also influence those around us to vote as well. It's, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting to note because um, I was just about to say that if you look at the latest stats, um, the data from the 
ongoing or recently concluded uh, continuous voter registration. You have women being the majority of yeah. the newly registered voters, so 50.82%. So um, how important would you say is the role of women in ensuring that Nigerians get it right? And, you know, to talk to the ladies listening out there, and even to the men, to support women in being part of politics. Because I hear some men say, they call me on, on in a media program and say, my wife, my family, we know, and they are voting for, and I'll ask, okay, how can you say your family, your wife is going to vote? Doesn't she have a church? Say, no, I'm the head of the family. I will oh, decide wow. who they vote for. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Yeah. So let me respond to that. Just like, you know, we talked about the, the theme for this year, firing the future in focus. We know what's going to happen. What we need is for women to be responsible. The world is being responsible. You need to be responsible for what's going to happen. These are our generations we're talking about. Whatever happens in the next election affects all of us, affects our children, affects their children, affects whatever is going to happen, even our work, whatever we're doing. So we need women to be responsible. Our position is, it's not about listening to what people are saying. It's about understanding, being responsible with your choices, and making that choice for yourself, but making sure that you do go out and vote. And that's part of what we're talking about. So it's definitely going to be talked about during the conference. So trust me, I, I think people should come to learn more, hear more, be more aware. We're not obviously going to talk about politics, but you have a better understanding, and then you can responsibly make a choice. Mm -hmm. So we're basically not even saying that you have to talk about politics, mm -hmm. but we also wanted to find out what your position is as regards the elections uh, come 2023 in terms of, you know, women participating. And you only talked about uh, women going out to vote. So I really, oh. yeah, you talk about, no. I really hear you talk about women vying for... We yeah. have so many <laughs> women, women mm -hmm. that actually running. Remember, mm -hmm. I had said mm -hmm. that when we started. We have a lot of women within the... Remember that we have Wimpole. I'm not sure that we spoke about Wimpole. Well, spoke Wimpole about is women in politics. And it's one of the branches of Wimbiz. Oh, where mm -hmm. we actually coach, mentor, train women. We have a lot of women who are older that are already in politics. And when the younger women want to go in, we pair them up with other people. We have Wimpole events as well that really helps to develop any woman that wants to vie for a position. We currently have a good number, because we're not partisan, I can't mention names because that wouldn't be right, but we have a lot of women within Wimbiz, Wimbiz members who are actually running for positions uh, 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 in no, different states. And uh, nobody we push for <laughs> See, eh, the reality of it is that if we don't get involved in politics, we are not only messing ourselves up, we're also messing the future up. Exactly. So we are not so, an, an organization that you know, is blind to that or pretends like it doesn't happen. We are very, very much at the forefront of pushing more and more on, and more. On, on different run. parties. Oh, yes. different, different know, parties. It's, it's your choice. It's your choice. We don't your force you, choice. but then you must be involved and we must run. We all cannot be in the office and we all cannot also run businesses. Yes, Many of us also have to get out there in politics. So nobody, nobody can guilt trip you into supporting one party. It's oh, not no, possible. No, no. I can't even oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot going all. out, you know. Yeah. Okay, uh, um, so for those who want to register, you know, just quickly, once again, to go, go through the details, the date, the time, the venue, and then the, the, the process to register. Okay, so Wimbiz is November 3rd and 4th, Thursday and Friday. It's just next week, really. So go and register, ladies and men. <laughs> and um, you can go online, wimbiz.com or wimbiz.org. Wimbiz annual conference wimbiz as well. Wimbiz annual conference.com, yes. So please go and register. If you, you know what, just make it easy. Google Wimbiz. Just Google Wimbiz. You it will come so up. So all the registration is done on the Everything website. is it's all online. online. And you have refused to mention the fee. You so people can plan and oh, budget. Okay. Right. Fine. It's 74000 for um, physical conference, for the physical attendance at Echo Hotel and Suite. And it's 45000 for the virtual. Only. 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 <laughs> you need them to say Only. that again. Yeah. So, but, but um, let's talk about, I know you have talked about a lot in terms of, you know, what Wimbis have done over the years and, and, you know, all that you have achieved and all that you are achieving. But for this particular conference, what are the highlights? What should people be looking out for? So let me be on. One major highlight for me is Chimamanda is speaking at the conference. I love Chimamanda. I think that she is, she, exactly, she's our keynote speaker. I think that she represents many of the things that the theme, yes. and even some of the things that we have spoken about here, stands for. And so that's one of the major highlights for me. There are so many highlights, too. There are so, I mean, it's two days, so you no, can no, imagine. You, but you can imagine. Networking is also a huge one for me, minus even like the actual sessions. And the reason is because many of us that are beneficiaries of Wimbase, we know how our lives have been transformed by just sitting next to somebody that you don't even know. Yes. You meet them there and that person might just be the key to your next level and you can also contribute to them. One thing about Wimbase and something that we really preach about is win-win, right? So we don't go there just to meet people that can help us. How can I also help somebody, right? So it's all about meeting more people, networking, sharing ideas and all of that. Now, let me pack that. These sessions, oh my God, we have so many amazing mm -hmm. sessions, so many of them. We're talking about leadership, we're talking about politics like we said, we're talking about so many things and we have an amazing debate which is talking about 
the great resignation. resignation. To quit or not to quit, slash <laughs> Jack Pine. <laughs> which you know is a very, very good answer. It sounds very like a doomsday <laughs> kind of thing. The great, <laughs> you know, depression up. I think, I think one of my favorites, um, my highlight, what I'm looking for is evolving, the future forward you. Yes. You know, getting ready. Just, uh, you know, how to get ready by yourself, for yourself. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And I think we have Niger to the world. We have Niger to yes. the world. Which Just is how we're exporting ourselves. How and, we've been exporting, you know, whether it's with acting, it's with music, it's with fashion. So we really have something for everybody, really you know. It's Something not just for, for one section of women. It's really for everybody. Are we going to talk about the after party? Oh, there's an after party. Yeah, after party. <laughs> is after that party. Is everyone as well? Yes. yes, oh, yes, yes. Right. That's what that Kofi wants to come <laughs> for. <laughs> No, we know, we know. <laughs> so we're for that one as well. So I'm, when you come, I'm, when you stay for the conference, there. you come for that one. Well. And it's sneaker theme, so make sure oh, you come wow. with your sneakers. I'm yes. gonna be there. Yes. I'm gonna be there. And um, for those who want to be uh, members of Wimbiz, mm. you know, beyond the conference, yes. How can they do that? Okay, so wimbiz.org, W-I-M-B-I-Z dot O-R-G, has all of the information that you need to okay, register to be a member. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. I would like to say any final words from you before we go. I start with you, um, Felicia. Okay, so. Final words for me is register for the conference, simple and short, www.wimbizannualconference.com or like Hannah to say, just Google Wimbiz. And I would love to see you there. Mm -hmm. Say hi to me when you see me there. Same, same, same. And how to find a word for me? Um, honestly, ladies attend. It's, I know what Wimbiz has done personally for me and I really, really want people to experience that yeah. in your career, in your profession, in your business, whatever it is. Just come. Like Felicia said, look out for us. Say hi, take a picture, <laughs> post it on Instagram and... We look Fantastic. forward to it. I'm going to be a virtual anchor, so I'm going to be uh, looking out for people virtually if you can't do it physically. Interesting. No surprises from your delivery here. <laughs> can you see? It's no, no surprises. <laughs> All right, but finally, you leave your frames in the studio before you go as you're going. Two of us. Yeah, okay. No problem. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Leave them here mm. as you're going. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to thank, uh, we want to thank both of you for coming. I've learned, we've learned a lot. And uh, I can't wait to, you know, to see the success of this conference. Uh, it's amazing that Chimamanda will be Yes. Uh, the speakers, it shows their level, levels to this thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, Hanatu Adegboega, chairman, or chair rather, a conference planning group, uh, delegate engagement subcommittee of Wimbis, and of course, for Lucio Badamosi, who is uh, the vice chair, conference planning group, uh, committee of Wimbis. Thank you so much. Thank for you for having us. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Merci. Well, that's so much we can take at this point in time. We take a break, and when we return, we'll be looking at the second major conversation right here. We'll speak with uh, an expert as regards the issue of stroke. Please stay with us.